coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pound, man, I appreciate the love. Bam, 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 boom, appreciate the support. We out here, man, 33, 33 years of prison stories. I appreciate all the love, everybody who rocking with the TBP Nation. We out here, we rolling, we rolling, we rolling, we, ah, 80K, 100K next. Have no doubt, man. I don't care what type of tomfoolery is going on with YouTube, what type of blocks and roadblocks, and I don't care. We going to get there because we got a... Uh, you know, we got positive energy, man, and we're going um, we to make it happen, man, you know, uh, by any means necessary. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, man, what we got going on. And shout out to everybody who's been tapping into the uh, morning mud, man, where we drinking coffee in the morning, man, and uh, cutting up, you know. <laughs> so y'all come over. They was really cutting up this morning. So y'all come on over there, man, and join us, man. We just having good conversation, trying to get our day started off real nice. But um, this video gonna come from a comment that was made this morning, right? Um, somebody asked me in the comments, um, have I ever had a friend that turned into an enemy? You know, that's the name that they got out here now, frenemy. You know what I'm saying? Frenemy. I think that's how they say it. Friend that turned into enemy or frenemy. But um. It just put me, you know, got that on my brain, man. It took me all out of the concept of the video that I wanted to make or that I was thinking about making because now that stayed on my brain. Because as soon as they asked me, this one that particular dude just popped in my head. And then after I thought about it and pondered on it, another one popped in my head. So I'm just going to briefly explain those two situations to y'all. And um, get this up out of my head, man. Because if not, I'm going to be thinking about it and thinking about it. And I ain't going to be able to get nothing else done. But those situations do occur. You know what I'm saying? They do. They unfortunate. And I'm like this. Right? I'm a loyal dude, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a solid dude. And, you know, if I must say so myself. You know what I'm saying? You, The chances of you crossing me and messing up the friendship is is extremely higher than me crossing you because I don't I don't do that type of foolishness. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, man, I remember this one in particular incident, man, with the, with this dude named LA. Right. LA was a old, you know, he was he was a big old uh tall uh light skinned guy. He played ball, old light skinned dude, but he had a really, really good basketball game. And um LA might have been about Maybe about 6'3", 6'2", 6'2", you know, solid maybe, uh, about, you know, 200. He was cool with my celly, Shine, which, you know, by osmosis, I got cool with him because he was cool with Shine. He was from the same neighborhood, this, that, and the third. And I played ball every now and then. You know what I'm saying? But not on a regular, cause you know, like I say, I am I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> don't get me twisting now. I'm good with the I'm good with the spot up, you know, but you know, these big dudes, I'm a I'm, I'm a smaller cat, you know what I'm saying? Shorter kind of like. So, you know, I play, but more or less I get out of the way, man. You know, boxing was my thing, but every now and then, you know, that basketball is, is you know, it's great cardio. So every now and then I get on the court or whatever, right? So LA was a, a dude that everybody gonna pick. They gonna pick him. They gonna always try to get him on their team, try to always, you know, pad their team, you know, get the best players. That's what they do in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? They try to get the uh the uh <laughs> they try to get the go to state team when Durant came. They try to always get the best team so they can stay on the court because we only get a limited amount of time to be out there to be balling and to be wrecking. So dudes don't want to get on the court, lose, and then they got to wait a couple of games to play, and then the wreck might be over, they can't play. So they always try to pick the best team just so they can stay on the court and, and keep balling the whole wreck period. So L.A. was a dude, like I say, everybody going to always pick him because he could ball and he had size and whatever. He had a good game. Now, I had this homeboy... From the city, man, from, from from Northeast named Vice, right? Vice loved balling, and he could ball. 
but Vice small like me. Vice like five seven, and he DC to the heart. You understand me? He got that. You know, if you if you from the city, you know. If you know, you know. He he like one of them. I mean, I mean, what's up, Joe? I mean, I mean, let's get it. And, and, and he a rumble. He always fight, and he slept across the hall from me, as well as L.A. He in the park with L.A. Me and Shine is cell partners. We 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 in the block across the hall. We we right from them. So they ain't cell partners though. But me and Shine cell partners. Now let mind you, Shine is cool with L.A. That's his homeboy. You know, Vice my little homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with Vice. So Vice can ball too. He's short, but he can ball. So he always get picked too. So I can remember, man. Like I say, I got cool with L.A. just cause. You know what I'm saying? And we 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 we. we Cause we speak all the time, you know, dap up, woo, woo, woo. So, now Vice, like I say, he DC, so he non, he no nonsense. He done got to reckon with several dudes in the block, you know, for running their mouth or whatever. Vice, going, Look, come on in the back, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? And he'll, 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 he'll knock it up and get it in. All right. Him and LA Cool, they in the block together. All right. This particular day, we down the gym. Nighttime wreck. We at the gym. Um, Vice on one team, LA on the other team. I'm over there. I'm hitting the bag. I'm working out. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm staying ready, so I'm ready to get ready. So they balling. One team winning, one team losing. I can't remember which it was, but Vice and LA, they barking at each other. They barking at each other, right? Now, LA so much bigger than Vice. And then, like I say, how you put it? A lot of times the dudes in prison, if they think, if they think that they got a sure win and they can get a reputation off you, then they're going to be pushing something at you. Vice known to fight and Vice can fight. L.A. felt like he can whoop Vice. So he running his mouth and he really, I can see the psychology. I can see. He felt like he wanted to get a reputation off of Vice. Because he know Vice used to fight and Vice been beating dudes up. But he felt like he can whoop Vice and he bigger than Vice. So he steady barking, he barking. So Vice telling him like, what's up? What's up? What's, I mean, what's up? What you saying? Let, I mean, let's get it. He, LA got a lot of dudes with him. He he, he from the early. He from the, he from the 757. He got a lot of dudes with him. There's a lot of dudes in VA prison from the 757. So he got a lot of dudes to rock with him. Plus, he can ball. So he got a lot of dudes on his team. You know what I'm saying? And you, you know what they call it in prison. Something else. He got a lot of dudes on. You know what I'm saying? Cause just cause he can ball. So I see the commotion going on. And like I say, DC, you know, we small community, but we solid. You know what I'm saying? So I see all the commotion and all the dudes, you know, making all this, you know, uh, country breaks and stuff. So I take the gloves off. And I walk over and see what's going on. Cause everybody is, you know, I'm like, what's up? What's up? I mean, what's up, right? No, no, man, man, this Bama. And, he, and, and L.A. like, who you calling the Bama? Man, I man, I do this. I do vice. You ain't do nothing to me. So I'm like, hey, 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 man, y'all pipe down, man. Pipe down, calm down, man. Let's see what's going on. So then other dudes is getting involved. This thing get ready to get ugly. You know what I'm saying? It's getting ready to get super ugly. I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to pull vice to the side so I can talk to him and, 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 and let him know. You know what I'm saying? Look, this ain't what it is right here. You know, you know, let him do what he do, whatever, whatever. If you really want to see him, you know, when y'all get back to the block, you know, one on one, because all this don't, because it got too many of these dudes out here, right? And I know, I know the count. I know how this gonna go down. You know, and I know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to stop the situation. So Vice is adamant though. Vice wanna get at him like, man, you. you Man, all of a sudden, there you tough. Now you acting like you because you got all these cats out here. Man, I ain't tripping on that. What, what you want to do? So L.A. like, come on, come on, whatever. What you want to do? You know, and then they start calling each other these disrespectful names, right? And once you start doing that, man, you know, lines have been crossed. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, 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 getting, it's getting ready to get crazy. So I'm trying to be the suppressor in this situation, but I can see the situation getting out of hand. So as other dudes talking about, man, and this man, this always irked me. I'm telling you, I it's just when other dudes start getting involved, and then they talk about, man, let them go, man, let them fight. I'm like, man, shut up. You ain't gonna fight nobody. What are you talking about? Some less somebody fight. You know, let them go, man. I'm just saying, man, man. You know, so boom. One dude kept saying it, 
Because like I say, and I told y'all this several times in TBP, a lot of dudes want to see drama, but they don't want to be involved in drama. And I don't like them type of dudes. You want to see violence, but you don't want to be in violence. So stop chirping from the side. You ain't going to do nothing. Why are you talking about you want to see something? So they tell me, let them, man, let them fight. So this one in particular dude kept saying that, and I got, you know, perturbed with him. I'm like, man, shut up. You know what I'm saying? He told me, man, I'm just saying. I'm saying, what you saying? So as I'm talking to him, I done let go of Vice, and Vice going up to him, and I'm telling him, man, look, man, we trying to squash this. He ain't trying to, ain't nobody trying to see nobody hurt nobody out here, man. We, you know what I'm saying, get locked up, get locked down, all this for what? Some fools and y'all playing ball, woo, woo, woo. And while I'm trying to get this at him, I turn around, Vice and L.A. squared up. You know what I'm saying? And Vice, like, you know, flinching at him. But L.A., he, to me, <laughs> I'm just keeping it funky, man. To me, he couldn't, he, he couldn't really fight neither. But he bigger, and he think he, if he get a hold of Vice, which he probably could, he can handle Vice, because he big and he in shape. But the, the, the blows and stuff, he just swinging all wild, and, and Vice like bagging up, but Vice can't really get to him because he just like throwing little crazy stuff out there, and Vice trying to get at him. And, and man, he, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So when I turn around and I see that, I run over to the joint dude, told him, let him fight, man. I'm like, man. Man, F y'all, you know what I'm saying? So I, I go and try to get in between them. So LA like, man, no, get out of the way. Get up, man. I'm like, man, hold up, man, y'all. And then I'm trying to grab Vice. So I literally had to grab Vice. And I'm picking him up. He's talking, no, let me go. Let me go, young. Let me go. I'm like, nah, come on, man. You ain't, this ain't what it is. This ain't what it is. So I'm struggling with him, trying to pull him back. They mad, real mad, because they felt like LA was going to get out on him. And they wanted to see it. You know what I'm saying? And they wanted to see it. So dudes mad, like, let them go, let them go. I'm hearing all this. And that's making me mad. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you can't be trying to be the peacemaker and then you turn around and trying to fight yourself. You know, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's a contradiction. But I wanted to fight then, you know what I'm saying? Because of the situation. And I know what they doing, you know what I'm saying? All these cats younger than me at this time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pulling vice and I'm holding vice and I got him. I'm like, look, man, look, this ain't what it is, yo. Don't worry about it, man. If you want to fight him, wait till you get back in the block. You know what I'm saying? Tell him to come on to the cell. Y'all go on the stairs. Y'all fight one-on-one, -on -one, man. This is going crazy, right? This is going to be a melee, man. The police going to come. Everybody going to get locked up. Everybody going to be on investigation, young. This ain't what it is. I say, if you feel like they're going to jump you or something you in your block, I'll come over to the block. i sneak over there. And watch y'all shoot the one. But this ain't where it's at down here, man. He's like, no, man, that Bama think he, you know, he, he showing off because he got all these dudes out here. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hip to that. I peeped that. But this ain't the place, man. In a minute, the police going to come in here because these dudes getting too loud. It's crazy, man. Just calm down, calm down. So he's like, yeah, all right, all right. But I got to see him. I got to see him. He done swung at me and everything. He ain't got nothing. He ain't got nothing. So I'm like, man, this is just crazy. So when I think I got Vice calmed down, I'm trying to walk back in there to grab my stuff. You know, I got my hand wraps, all this stuff. I'm trying to get my stuff so we can go ahead and leave. Then oh, I heard all these dudes, oh, man, yo, man, yo, man, yo, I ain't want to let them fight, man. And then L.A. told me, yeah, I want them. I want them. And I'm like, Tch. And I'm looking at him like, really? <laughs> really, man? You know what I'm saying? And like I say, we supposed to be okay. Shine ain't down there. Shine ain't no, you know, he ain't no gym workout type dude. He ain't down there. He probably back in the pod playing poker. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, so the look that I seen in L.A. in me, it was like something that you know when you know it. It was like, boom. He felt like I stopped him. From shining, which won't no guarantee you was going to win, but he felt like that. So I could see the look. And from that point on right there, I knew that, yeah, we won't cool no more like that. I knew it, whether we, I was going to wait and see when we come down to time to speak. But I knew because like I can say I was holding these. Dudes, I've been through these type of things in these type of situations, so I can see, right? So he looking, I'm like, man, look, man, yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you if you if you trying to see younger man, y'all sleep in the same block. Y'all ain't got to be doing this out here, you know. This is getting everybody late, man. Y'all ain't got to be doing this out here. You tell me, yeah, whatever, whatever. All that. I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So I get Vice, man. We roll out. Vice, they ready to go. I said, come on, Joe, don't even worry about. It. So we go back to the block. So when we get back to the block. 
I got to go to my side. He got to go to his side. I'm asking him. I'm like, you good, young? What's up? What you going to do? I told you the protocol. This is what you need to do. Don't make no big scene. Don't make none of that. When he come back in here with all his little buddies or whatever, if you feel like something ain't right, something don't look right, man, send the word over here, man. I'm going to come over there straight like that, man. Whatever it is, that's what it is. He was like, I'm good, young. I'm good. I'm just going to go up to him like you said. Say, look, man, you trying to see me? We ain't going to sell. Me and you, we ain't got to have nobody else. We ain't going to sell. So I said, okay, that's what's up, man. I said, if you need me, let me know. Boom. I go my way. He go his way. Right. The next morning, you know, everybody saying this, that, and the third happened. There's so many different verses. They went in the cell. They wrecked it up. Right. L.A. acting like he got out on them. Both of them got bruises, though. I asked Vice when I see him what happened. He said, man, the junk, you know what I'm saying, he ain't really... Do nothing to him. He ain't do nothing to him. He said to him, it was about even. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. They left. You know what I'm saying? They squashed it. That's what what it is. You know what I'm saying? Won't no jumping. Won't nobody else getting in it. Da, 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 da. We had a couple other homies over there too. They they held this, this, this situation down, you know, to make sure his dudes ain't do nothing. So they wrecked it up. But both of them got little, you know, little mouses on their eye, little, you know, busted lip, this, that, and the third. But LA running his mouth like he, you know, like he really did his thing. You know what I'm saying? So. It, it, it got crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm in there with Shine, and then Shine telling me what L.A. said, and then I ain't really liking it, woo, 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 woo. So at that point right there, all in my mind, just from him trying to shine and show off, act like he, I ain't like him. You know what I'm saying? Just to be, I ain't even like him no more. Whether he was cool with Shine or not, I ain't like him no more. You know what I'm saying? And I knew that was going to come out in my, you know what I'm saying? In, in, in my attitude towards him when I was around him. You know what I'm saying? No matter how hard I try to hide it, I can't be fake. I got to be me. You know what I'm saying? But little did I know he ain't like me neither. You know what I'm saying? After that. Because he felt like I stopped this shine. Yeah, he felt like I stopped this shine. No pun intended. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, the homie we got to come to shine. So I can remember like about a week later, I'm on the court, but we outside, Rick. You know what I'm saying? We outside, Rick. I'm on the court. And man, um, I'm on the opposite team of him. Oh no, oh, they were picking the team. And then when it came down to the dude to get me, he, he was like, nah, don't get him, man, get him, man. You know what I'm saying? That was the first sign. I said, okay. So I get on the other team. So when we on the other team, I make a shot. Boom. We come down a couple of plays later, I make another shot, right? So he was like, man, you ain't doing nothing. And right then and there, I said to myself, mm, yeah, he picking. He picking, he trying to, he didn't did, think he did some device or think he got out on vice. He see, I stopped the joint and he thinking that, oh, this a bigger fish right here. I can get banged. So I said, yeah. And now had I wanted to, I could have baited him in, you know. I could have baited him in for the kill because you ain't going to do nothing to me. You can lay flat and believe that. I don't know what, it, it ain't nothing of that happening. You know what I'm saying? But I could have baited him in. But on the strength of me really trying to get out of penitentiary, that was my frame of mind at this time, trying to, man, I, you know. And Shine being in the cell with me, I, 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 I spared him, man. You know what I'm saying? I spared him. And if he watching this today, I want you to know I spared you because I know what you was trying to do and I know what you thought you was going to do. But you was going to be sadly, sadly mistaken, bro. It would have been the most crucial decision you ever made in your life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going back and forth up and down the court and I'm seeing how he, you know, little ad living and looking at me. So when we go down and come back down one time, I'm close to him, right? So I'm close to him and and I and, and, and he kind of like pushed me, you know, because we going for the ball and he kind of like pushed me. I got real close up on him and I told him, you know, and I can't even check him. I ain't going to lie on the basketball court. He's he, he going to dominate me. I can't. He's a big dude and he can ball. And he got, I got real close to him and I told him, I said, listen here. I said, I don't know what you're thinking, and I don't care what's in your mind. I said, but I'm going to tell you this one time. I'm going to leave it alone. I ain't going to get loud in for no homeboys or no nothing. Don't play with me, man. Do not play with me. He told me, man, I ain't tripping on you. I said, I'm telling you, don't play with me, dog. He said, yeah, whatever. So I just leave it at that. That was my only warning shot. I'm not even going to give you no more. You can go overboard if you want to. I done told you. You know what I'm saying? So it went on. The game went on. My team lost. I got on off court. I went on by my way. When we got back to that cell, and I told Shine, and Shine had been in there with me, so Shine know what's going on. And I told Shine, 
I said, I'm going to tell you this one time, man. I said, your boy L.A. was on that court acting funny. You know what I'm saying? I think he mad about, you know, me breaking up to him and Vice Joe. He ain't get a chance to shine in front of his homeboy. I said, so he getting a little slick on the court. Shine like, what he said? I said, don't worry about it. I said, I'm just going to tell you that because you in the cell with me and I rock with you. I said, he got one time to get in my way. And I said, I promise you, I'm going to lay him down. I said, because I don't like where he coming from and I don't like what he trying to do with that little slick, or, you know, in your windows and trying to get some points off me. Only thing he going to get off me is a, a good trip to medical. You know what I'm saying? Hospital or somewhere else. So I'm just letting you know that if you really rock with him and he really your homeboy, you better tell him to stay out my way. He said, oh, man, he ain't like that, man. I said, son, I'm not going to discuss it with you no more. I just gave you the play. I told you what it is. If you get in my way, do what it is. Shine said, all right, don't worry about it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Woo, woo, woo. Shine said something to him, whatever he said to him, that was that. He ain't never say nothing to me no more. I ain't never say nothing to him no more. And that was that. But he would get ready to get super late. So that was a dude that was once a friend, even though it was a casual friend. But now I looked at him like an enemy. Because, see, to me, I can't be super cool with you and then... Then want to do the things that are going to come up in my mind to you when I'm angry. Because when, when I'm angry or if I feel threatened, what's going to come up in my mind to do to you, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? It, <laughs> it ain't going to be nothing that you would do to a friend. Because I'm going to, man, I'm going to try to savage you if I think you're going to hurt me. I'm telling you, that's just, you know, that's just what it was in my, my frame of mind back in them days. I, I'm trying to, man, I'm trying to hurt you bad. You know what I'm saying? If not worse. So, I can't be cool with you if I got, you know, to get in that type of frame of mind. So, I got to, I got to uh, decompress and, and, and what's, what's, what's that, don't they say, um, deep, you know, uh, debrief. And I got to come out of that frame of mind as I'm, I like you and you cool with me to, man, I will send you up out of here. So, because I was just cool with you. So, you know, I won't super like that with him, but I, I can't do that. So I have to disconnect to switch up to get in that frame of mind of what I might do to you if you making me think I have to do this to you. So I don't, I don't, I don't like doing that. You know what I'm saying? I, I know dudes like that. They can be cool with you and hanging out with you every day. And then the next day they, they you know, putting the Bethlehem in you. I, I ain't like that. You got to really cross me to make me switch my whole, you know, opinion of you. My whole, you know what I'm saying, the way I look at you. So, you know, that's why I don't get cool with a lot of dudes in prison, man. That's why I didn't get cool with a lot of dudes in prison. Because they be coming with that old switch up, that old 50-50, that old straddle in the fence. That, man, if you if you, if you you cool with me, you cool with me. Don't don't be faking with me because I ain't faking. You know what I'm saying? And he was a faker. And, you know, I ain't never deal with him no more. I ain't never deal with him no more. I think... After a couple of months, it got to the point where he was walking by me like, what's up, man? I said, what's up, man? And that was it. But we ain't never do no more kicking it. He ain't never coming back over there, coming in the cell, chilling with Shine, because I ain't want him in there no more. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't like him no more. You know, so that's, that was that situation. Now, when somebody first asked me this question, it brought me to this other dude, man. Did the same thing. I got cool with this dude because a dude that I was super cool with. I was super cool with Cowboy. Right, so his homeboy came on on the joint. I spoke about this dude before briefly. I know I did in the Powhatan joint, crazy character, cause he, you know. But he came on dude named Blue, right? Little bitty dude, short dude, but he was black as. It, it, that's why they call him Blue. You know how they say you be so black, they call you Blue. He said, that's why he called Blue. He was super dark, cut up like a fifth of dope though. He was just cut up everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And he's supposed to be. In, a heck of a ball player, which he was, you know what I'm saying? But this is all you used to hear about him for because he was short dude too, like, you know, 5'8", but he can jump so high, he can dunk and everything. So he was a really, really good ball player and everybody knew about him in the system, right? But he was a controversial dude, always in trouble, always running his mouth, always trying to fight, always. He just, and he got a big mouth, you know what I'm saying? He'll say anything, some of the most outrageous stuff out the, out the blue, you know, so 
But he was super cool with this dude that I was cool with, man, Cowboy. They grew up together. So when he came on the camp, Cowboy telling me who he is and da 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 At the time, me and Cowboy were walking partners, so we cool. So he fall into the fold of that. You know what I'm saying? So I get cool with him, you know, by osmosis. We cool because he cool, you know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. Cowboy get locked up month, some into that. So now, man, it's just me and him. So we cool. Now, he already done been in all types of stuff. Already, in less than a month or something. This is how he, he's just a controversial dude. But I had already befriended him. You know what I'm saying? But he he get on that basketball court and he he can ball. He one of the best ballers on it. But he hate to lose. Whenever he losing, he popping off and he disrespecting dudes to the utmost. Whereas 90% of the stuff he's saying is some pop you in the mouth stuff. You know what I'm saying? But dudes is a little shook by him because he he cut up, he aggressive, and he can ball. So they thinking, ah, he must be a heck of a fighter. You know what I'm saying? So that'll, that'll, that'll keep a dude at bay for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So he was doing that, man. He get on there. He, he you know, he lose as soon as he lose. He, man, I mean, man, he, man, my, my boy is super disrespectful, man. You know what I'm saying? I remember he was in there playing a game, and the dude that used to be reffing, the dude was cool with everybody, man. He was cool with everybody, and he be reffing the games and stuff out there. So, Blue go up for a dunk, and he miss it, and he felt like the dude fouled him, and, and I didn't even think the dude fouled him. So, when he miss it, and they, they going back in transition, he pull up on the dude This the ref. He don't even go back in transition. He pull up on the dude This the ref and get it right up in his face. He say, this type of disrespectful stuff he be saying. He pulled straight up on the dude. This a man now. Get right up in his face and say, uh, man, you know, D-A-M, you know, and man, you, you ain't calling nothing for him. You act like, you know, he effing you or something. Who does that? You know what I'm saying? The dude say, hold on, hold on. What you say? He said, you heard what I said? You know what I'm saying? And then he turned around and started trying back down the court. Now, this dude supposed to be revving the game and everything, but he's so throwed off by what he said, he done dropped the whistle and he said, hold on, hold on, man. You, 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 you tripping, man. Don't, don't be, hey, don't, don't, don't talk like that to me. So, Blue ain't scared of Blue turn around and Blue like, man, you heard what the F I say? So, dudes get all in the way and stuff like that. That just give you an example of the type of dude he is. That's the type of stuff he'll come out of his mouth with that foolishness, that crazy stuff. So, um, and I knew, because I was witnessing this, but then I'm with this dude, you know what I'm saying, every day now, because we was all together and Cowboy gone, so I don't abandon the dude. We still, so now dude's looking at him with all his foolishness and looking at me. You know what I'm saying? But, man, I, I believe Blue was what they called before we, before us in penitentiary, I don't know what was going on out here, knew what it was. I believe Blue was bipolar before I knew what the word bipolar was. Because he could be cool with you, then he snap on some foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Now, man, man, this dude eating every day, we kicking it, we chilling, we, you know what I'm saying? I, he ain't bringing that foolishness he's doing on the court when he around me, so we cool. Man, turn around. I, they want me to, to, to ref the summer league game. So I'm refing the summer league game. Now, I think he feel like because we cool that I'm just going to give him all type of fake calls and do everything in his favor. Nah, man, I'm going I'm to be legit about whatever I do. So, man, he get mad at me because of the way I'm calling the game. Feel like he ain't getting his calls and all this and all. I'm like, man, Blue is tripping. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he like, bam. You ain't see that. He come down and every time he miss a shot, it's either somebody foul him or, or or he would have made it or something. So he like, you ain't see that. I'm like, man, come on, man. Play ball, man. Play ball. And he, you know, and from that point right there, I already knew. I said, yeah, this is yeah, this, this, this right here. <laughs> this friendship ain't going to last that long. You know what I'm saying? Because he started having an attitude about the way I was calling the game that won't in his favor. He felt like, by me being cool with him, I got to call everything in his favor. Nah, I'm not going to do that, Joe. You know what I'm saying? So, we started going through it, man. Then he ain't want to, you know, we had a little routine every day. We were working out together in the morning with it. He stopped showing up and he was woo, woo, woo. So, I'm like, okay, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. And, man, it came down to a, a game and he went up for a shot, a dunk or whatever. He jumped so high, you never know that 
and he missed it and he fell. And I don't think the dude fouled him at all. He didn't touch him at all. And I'm the one that's the ref up under the jump. So he hit the ground and rolled over. They done grabbed the ball, went back in transition. Man, that man popped up, man, so fast and got right up in my face. He said, man, you ain't see that call. You ain't see that. I said, man, you better, you better get up out my face, man. You know what I'm saying? He said, oh, what? And I'm like, man, oh, what? We, man, and we was, you know, then people intervene and whoop, get mm, tech. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, all, man, all of that went down. So now it's really, you know what I'm saying? And I got to disconnect. You know what I'm saying? I got to disconnect because I was just eating with this dude every day, kicking it with this dude every day. Now you don't put me in a position where I'm considering hurting you because <laughs> I'm not going to let you hurt me. That's a, a fact. I'm not going to let you hurt me. So now I'm disconnected with him, man. And Cowboy ain't even came back. And then the next thing you know, me and him ain't speaking at all. And then Cowboy ended up coming back. So I'm telling Cowboy that Cowboy in the middle of the situation because he grew up with this dude and me and this dude cool. You see what I'm saying? So it just was an awkward situation. And he trying to tell me like, man, he ain't. You. But Blue, he's so arrogant and so disrespectful. Like, man, I don't, man, I ain't worried about Charlie. You ain't got to tell me though. Man, I don't, he ain't got to never say nothing to me. Oh, that's just going to make me even more aggressive and more ready to hurt you, man. You know what I'm saying? So I was on my high alert and I'm telling Cowboy and Cowboy been around me enough now that he know me. He may have grew up with this dude, but he know. I'm telling, I'm telling Cowboy, giving him the respect due because our friendship I, I told him I said I'm going to tell you man I, I promise you if he make a country break I'm telling you he can tell you whatever he want to tell you they going to carry him up out here you know what I'm saying and I don't care if you tell him or whatever I'm telling you they going to carry him up out here you know what I'm saying? So Cowboy like, man, it ain't got to get all oh, that. Oh, I'm, I'm going to handle that. Man. I said, I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, we, and, 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 and man, you know, like I said, ain't no back down in him. He ain't, he ain't no sucker, nothing. He ain't scared, but he ain't want me. <laughs> Even if he thought he did, he didn't. And I know he didn't. You know what I'm saying? Because I know me. You know what I'm saying? So, but that was a really, really awkward situation. And, man, it just so happened he get in another altercation a little while later, and he end up getting gone. But that situation right there, friend turned into enemy. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, that's why you got to be careful who you be friend, man. And especially even more careful in the penitentiary who you be friend. Because them to be the same ones turn around and stab you in your back. You know what I'm saying? I remember when he, you came in there, you ain't, he ain't even have nothing. And just on the strap that me and Cowboy was cool and he was cool. I was feeding him. I had the stove box, whatever, man. You can get this till you get, you know, woo -woo, don't worry about it. I got this, I got that. All of that. And you gonna turn around and try to get boss with me over a, a basketball game and some calls? Man, I wish you would. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wish you would. But he was super controversial like that. That's how he was. He was beefing with, I promise you, man. Blue was beefing with somebody every day. Every day, because he played ball every day, and he going to cause controversy every day. Every day. You know what I'm saying? And had I really did my due diligence, even though I was cool with Cowboy, I would have went ahead on and just been casual with him instead of letting him get so close to me where we eating and working out together and all this stuff. Because, man, he, he, he was bipolar as I don't know what. He was bipolar as I don't know what. But like I say, in penitentiary, you still got to protect yourself. And I was going to protect myself because, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to let you do nothing to me. No matter what, you know what I'm saying, and he was just so, man. Blue was Blue was a piece of work, man. Yeah, he definitely was a piece of work, man. And um, he stayed in controversy. That was just his mo, you know. And I didn't know that from the beginning, but that's what it was, man. It is what it is. But you know, I heard. I don't know if it's true. I don't, can't confirm or deny. But I heard he got out, you know, and you know the same thing. He, that's just the way he cared. That's what he do. And when he got out, I heard, you know, he ended up, you know, getting into some type of beef with somebody and, you know, supposed to had, you know, lost his life. So I don't know. I can't say this is just rumor, but um, I hope it ain't true. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, I don't wish that on nobody. But man, yeah, but he, you know, I befriended him, man. I was solid with him. I mean, he needed something. I had it, gave it to him. All that, you know, and uh, it just be like that, man. So that's why I say even in there and in life, man, it's hard to really 
connect with somebody and y'all on the same level and y'all gonna carry it the same way. That's why I love my brothers that, that, that I love, man, the Sally, you know, Dixon and White Boy Cody and, you know, uh, 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 Pedo and, you know, just different dudes that I always rock with, man, you know, Big Shug, you know, um, you, you know, Jerry, uh, 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 Wally, uh, um, um, my man, uh, 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 so many, man, there's so many, but not many, you know, um, yeah, man, these, these, these my dudes, man, the dudes that I know, if I befriend you, I already know you solid, you know what I'm saying, after my trials and tribulations, you know what I'm saying, so I was really, really in particular about who I got cool with, you know what I'm saying, Peanut, my dude, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, man, but yeah, dudes do that, man. They be, you know, and since some dudes will get cool with you, they got ulterior motive, but you don't know it. So you have to learn how to read character, how to read body language, how to read motive and intent, you know. So it's, it's, it's a tricky situation, man. But um, yeah, but, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, you know, like I say, it's a blessing in every lesson, man. And the blessing is out of both of them dudes, L.A. and Blue, it didn't get to the point where I was had to do what I know I would have done and to me that's a blessing because it would have only set me back and it would have only you know harmed somebody else and I don't never want to do that that's never my you know that's never my my motive my motive is always to if I feel threatened or opposed I'm going to do whatever <laughs> you know what I'm saying and um whatever might be whatever and I don't want to do that to nobody. I don't. But if you force me or put my back against the wall, I have no qualms with doing whatever it is that I got to do. So the blessing is I never had to do that, man. Especially to somebody that initially I considered all right. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's the worst kind. But um, yeah, man. But, you know, be careful out there, man. Everybody that say they're a friend is not a friend. And all enemies, believe it or not, I heard this once and I believe it's true. Mostly all enemies were once friends. That's how y'all become enemies. No one can really be your enemy who don't know you. Ain't never, no, they have no reason to be your enemy except for people that just born or, or just got this innate hate in their heart for other people. Other than that, most people that you was cool would be the people that you ended up being enemies with because y'all was cool and then y'all didn't see eye to eye no more and now y'all enemies. So, you know, can't have an enemy that you never did anything to. Those type of people got something going on right here. You know what I'm saying? It's not so much right here. They got something going on right here. So, um, anyway, man. Y'all talk to me in the comments and let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all be safe out there. Be smart, man. Make good decisions, man. And got to dig it on. Spread that TBP love and positivity. Big love. Boom, 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 boom. Duck them hooks, man. And choose your friends wisely, man. Bam. Thank you, special. Yeah, pure delicious. Pure delicious. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family love me, and that really—that's that's really the, all that counts.